For example, you design your classes and pattern and want to show your, your friend or your co-workers, for example, this 10 table, or for example, it has an animation, you want to show your <clears throat> other co-workers, you can do it here. You can go into the file, capture video, video capture and 10 table and animation. It's turned off because we have to go to the animation. <clears throat> and give it to motion and it's uh, create for you first you can go to the video capture and turn table as you can see it's sitting where his city you can set any preset that you want portrait landscape anything that what this character is portrait you can change the height and width uh, that you want access center you can define it custom center so the center it means this uh line it means it's exactly in a center and turn table turn around the exactly center zero zero of that x and y <clears throat> you want to which direction counterclockwise or clockwise if you want it in a direction that you want for example six second if you want to save this in the html file and then upload it in your website you can do it and hit render as you can see, it's render uh, turntable and you can automatically export it as a video. <clears throat> it's very easy. You can play it here. Don't worry about this. Uh, uh, this framing play, it means it's sticking and it's stacking. So if you save with the MP4, and it export it for you and and here you can see your turntable and uh, show on your co-workers okay if you want to give a simple uh, animation to that you have to go to animation and you have to give animation to that because we don't have any animation so still there. go into the library go back in a motion for a mail you can add any animation to that it's okay and if you uh, play it as you can see it's uh, as i said before you can refer to the previous lesson you have to record the animation here but if you go to the file if you go to the file uh, video capture animation it's again sitting here you can change the preset the landscape be careful about the zoom of your scene if you zoom it looks like this it's, it's rendered exactly in this camera distance so be careful about that it's you, you can change your camera view in any direction that you want and it's exactly creating this camera view for you okay you cannot change the camera view here you can change it here you can change the width and height but if you click and render here, the problem is there. It just create the animation though. It does not uh, create a simulation for you. So first you have to simulate it here. I explained the simulation, it's very easy. Then after that, you can come on back, come back and uh, create the animation capture. Okay, simulation is finished and uh, we have our simulation here and then you can uh, export it as an mp4 for video. This is a video capture. Go to the file, video capture and as you can see the animation is turned on. And now if you give to record, it's recording this animation with this simulation for you and you can export it after that as uh, mp4 and send it to your friends to see your works and if you have a problem you can as you can see it's playheads go to the finish if it's stop here you can click on a stop and then save it okay it's finished and you have to click on this stop button and here you can review it don't worry about the frame by framing planes. Just you have to save it here and then you can export it as MP4. Okay, we name it on our PC and it's exporting the MP4 for you. It's not the FVX or Alembic for. It's just MP4. And done. You can see it on your PC.
Okay, this is our animation. And as you can see, this is exactly in an angle of the camera that we set it before. Be careful about the angle of the camera. Uh, you have to set it before exporting the videos. That's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.